Okay, these notes are Henry's Law notes. And yes, these are more gas laws, because we're talking about a gas that is dissolved in a liquid. Now, pressure affects the solubility of gases in a liquid. The solubility of a gas in any liquid solvent increases as the pressure above the solution increases. So, being a gas law, of course, I've got your, you have to write an equation. This one is S, whoops, hang on. S1 over P1 equals S2 over P2. Kind of looks like Charles' law or Gaylor Sachs' law, just like that. Um, where S is the solubility. Now, note the, the units. It's grams per liter. Okay, so we have to be talking about one liter of solution here. And of course, P is your pressure. And those can be ATMs, millimeters of mercury, or um, KPA, doesn't matter which. Okay, example one. If 0.85 grams of a gas dissolves in one liter of water at 4 ATM and 25 degrees Celsius, how much will dissolve in 2.5 liters at 760 millimeters of mercury? Okay, before we can begin, we need to get two different things. First off, we're looking for solubility. I don't see any grams per liter here. So, we do have a grams and we have a liter. So, S1 is your 0.85 grams, and since it is in one liter, not two liters, but one liter, okay, that means it's 0.85 grams per liter. Now, P1 is your pressure, and it's at 4.0 atm. 25 degrees Celsius, we don't care. It doesn't matter what temperature. As long as you're not changing the temperature, it has no bearing on this problem. Now, it says, how much will dissolve in 2.5 liters? Well, you've got to find your solubility first, okay? Then we can find out how much will dissolve in 2.5 liters. So, anytime you see the word how much, you're going to be looking for grams in the end, but you have to find solubility first. Now, P2, 760 millimeters of mercury. Ooh, I have two different atmos or two different pressure units. Well, since 760 millimeters of mercury, we know what that is in atmospheres. That's 1.0 atmospheres, because that's standard pressure. So you really don't have to convert as far as do the picket fence, because 760 equals 1 atmosphere. Now we're going to set up our little proportion. Okay, so once again we're going to cross multiply, so we're going to do 0.85 times 1 divided by 4. And when we do that, we get a solubility of 0 0.21 grams per liter. That means at the one atmosphere, 2.1 grams of your gas will dissolve in one liter of water. But I don't want one liter of water. I have 2.5 liters of water. So I'm going to multiply by 2.5. And now I get 0 0.53 grams of my gas. Okay. Seems a little complicated, have to do a little conversions, but I think you'll handle it. Okay, a gas has a solubility of 660 milligrams per liter at 10 atmospheres. What is the pressure on a one liter sample that contains 1.5 grams of gas? Okay, so once again, we're gonna have to do some converting. S1, now we know that solubility has to be in grams per liter, not milligrams, so we're gonna go ahead Move the decimal point three places to the left, and it becomes grams per liter. So 0 0.66 grams per liter is your solubility, with your first pressure being 10 atms. Now I don't outright, the problem doesn't outright come out and say the solubility is, but you have a mass and a liter in a one gram sample. So this is going to be 1.5 grams for every one liter, or 1.5 grams per liter. And P2 is what you're going to look for now. Okay, so we're going to put this over. Put our little um, thing. Okay, so now we're going to cross multiply. So we got 10 times 1.5 over 0.66. That's our proportion. And we do the math on this one. We get 22.7 ATMs. And that's our final pressure. 
Okay, this one is a two-part problem. If 0.0171 moles of oxygen gas, now you know oxygen gas is, whoops, oh shoot. You know oxygen gas is O2, so we're gonna put up here O2. Remember, oxygen's a diatomic, so it doesn't travel alone. Okay, is dissolved in one liter of water at 20 kPa. What's the solubility of oxygen in grams per liter? Well, we're given moles. Just don't forget to get to mass. When you're given moles, it's moles times the molar mass gives you mass. So for A, it's going to be 0 0.0171 moles times 32 grams per mole. And that's going to give us 0 0.0. 547 grams. And that's the grams, okay? That's the grams of oxygen gas, but it, we're in one liter. Okay, so we're going to put grams per liter. So, that at 20 kPa, that's what the solubility of oxygen gas is. Now, if you read the problem, how much will dissolve in 2.25 liters of water at 110 kPa? So we have our S1, we just figured it out. 547 grams per liter, and our P1, of course, is 20 kPa. Our S2 is what we're trying to find out. Whenever you see the word how much, okay, that means grams. That means we have to figure out the solubility first, and then P2 is 110 kPa. Okay, so 0.547 over 20. S2 over 110, cross multiply, so we get 110 times 0.547, all over 20, and this is 3.01 grams per liter, but we don't care about one liter, we want 2.25 liters. So if you remember, we just multiply by 2.25 liters, and we get 6.77 grams of O2. And that's pretty much it. Okay, that's Henry's Law. So tomorrow we'll do a little bit of a warm-up, and then we'll do a worksheet along with problems from the um, handout I gave you, and then we'll be done with Henry's Law. And this, this should be the last gas law. I don't think there's anything in acids and bases, so we, we should be done with the gas laws by now. So I guess I will see you tomorrow. Bye!